Hey everybody, uh, today's dinosaur is the Triceratops. Um, just some facts about the Triceratops. It was about 10 feet tall. It was an herbivore, so it ate plants. And it weighed between 13,000 and 26,000 pounds. That's really heavy. Um, it lived about 66 million years ago and let's see its habitat where did it live it lived um, also in North America like a lot of the dinosaurs that we've been looking at it's a part of the North American continent Today we're going to just draw the skull of the Triceratops. So this is actually interesting because this is the only thing that we have an actual picture of that we can draw from. Everything else is just um, maybe a painting that another artist did or um, a drawing that another artist did to kind of an idea of what they thought it would look like. But we actually have Triceratops skulls that we can look at. So um, I'm going to be drawing from a picture and... Um, we're going to put the paper sideways like this, and we're going to just make the skull fill up the entire paper. Um, so I'm going to start out with pencil and then probably switch to pen. And you can do however you like. If you have something like charcoal, I think that'd be fun to draw with, or chalk would be fun to draw a skull with. Um, you could even try it if you had black paper. Um, you could do black paper um, and a white crayon or a white colored pencil, and it'd be kind of fun to do the, the bones that way. Um, but I'm going to do white paper because that's what I've got and I think that's what most most of you all have at home. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so <clears throat> a triceratops, tri means three, um, and we're going to draw, we're only going to actually see three horns on this, um, or sorry, so triceratops, tri means three, um, but because we're going to draw the skull from the side, uh, we're actually only going to see two of the three horns. So uh, let's go ahead and we're going to start kind of, I think pretty much in the middle, just maybe a little bit above the middle. We're going to draw the eye. And since we're drawing a skull, it's just the eye socket. So it's actually just a big circle, even though their eyes weren't you wouldn't see a circle on the outside. Um, we're going to draw a circle for the eye socket. And now that I look at that, even though I drew it pretty small, I think it's too big to fit the rest of the um, dinosaur skull on there. So let's make it about that size. So if you have a standard sized piece of paper, it's about the size of a, a pea. Um, now, Let's go ahead and I want you just to go behind the eye socket and a little bit lower, so about right here. And we're going to draw that first spike or horn. Okay. And I'm going to go back up to the top of this and I'm going to bring it down. I'm going to get it wider and wider as I go. And then right before the eye socket, I'm going to go forward. And actually, I'm going to bring it around underneath the eye, just like that. Now, I want you to go right about here. And it's going to go kind of forward and then start to slope up. This is our second horn. And that one's a lot smaller. It's the one on the nose, like right above the mouth. And I'm going to bring that down just a little bit. Okay. Now, they have kind of like a beak. Kind of like, I think we did another dinosaur that has a beak, or we will do another dinosaur that has a kind of a beak. Um, 
I'm going to take this and move it. I'm going to go forward and down. And let's go ahead and draw the, we're going to leave the mouth alone for now. We'll come back to it in a moment. Go back behind this horn and behind the eye socket. And we're going to start to draw that plate that they have around the back of their head. Um, and I'm going to go just below the eye. So if I line that up, it's just right here. And it's going to curve. It's going to go over. And then at the end, it's going to curve up to a point. And then it'll go back around. And make sure you're going to go underneath this part. Not quite to the eye. And then go up. And then you see I, I went up. And it's going to drop back down again. It's actually going to drop down a little lower than this part. Now we're going to bring the mouth, the upper part of the mouth, down to the lower jaw. So I'm going to bring this down. It goes up and down and up and back. Then we're going to drop it down like this. And we're going to go up this way, forward. And then it has a, the bottom part of the beak is sharper than the top part. So it goes up. And it's real pointy. And then it goes down. like that. Now there's lots of details we need to add in here. So even though you would only see probably in, in the, we're actually looking at the dinosaur, a little small opening for the nostril, because this is a skull, we see an entire like socket for the, the nasal cavity or the, the nose. So this is actually a big opening right here. So I'm going to draw this shape. It goes back here, and it drops down here, and curves this way. It's going to get kind of close there. And let's see, the jaw is not just a solid piece of bone. It's got a there's a bunch of pieces to it. So, because it had to be able to move. One thing I see here is I'm going to just draw a curve in and back out right there for the tip of the beak. And then I'm going to start here in that curve and go up. And this is where the jaw hinges, I believe. So there's part of the hinge. And then I'm going to go kind of behind the eye here. And I'm going to draw a curve out, back in, and down. And right in here, it's actually another opening. So I'm going to draw that opening right here. And now let's do, there's kind of like a ridge that goes here. So I'm going to just go underneath this opening here, draw a line up, and then I'm actually going to double that line up, goes up and over, and just kind of stops.
and I'm going to go to this line here. If you if you need to stop and catch up, that's fine. Um, I I know maybe I'm going too fast for some of you and too slow for other ones. So you do whatever you need to do uh, to make this work out. I'm going to come off of here and just draw some lines going down in here like this. Now there's a cavity here, like an op not an opening like here, but just like an indention right behind the upper jaw. It sticks out like this. And then another fun thing is they have spikes, smaller spikes that go along this edge. So I'm going to draw some kind of triangle shapes right here. Going all along this edge. Now one thing I was reading is they actually had a lot of teeth, not for eating meat, but they had a lot of teeth for grinding up the um, the plants that they ate. So I'm going to draw some little serrated teeth right here. Okay, and another detail I forgot is if I go back up to this curve, That line continues all the way there. And now that I'm looking at this, I I know that at the very beginning I changed the size of the eye to make it smaller, and now I think I made it a little too small. So I'm going to make the eye socket a little bigger. Right there. That looks a lot better to me. Okay. Now let's go ahead and do some shading. So when I shade, I'm just going to use the side of my normal pencil. And it's important not to go too dark. You can always go darker by just adding more graphite to the drawing. But if you go too dark right away, it just gets, it gets messy. And it's harder to erase all that stuff. So I'm going to pretend like the light is coming from this way, down. So that means the outer edges are going to be the darker spots. So we'll start out by shading the horns, which we know are kind of cone shaped. So I'm going to shade the edges darker, and the middle lighter. I'm going to take my finger and just blend a little bit. Make sure you're blending with a purpose. If you just smear, then that's not shading, that's just smearing. You gotta actually think about dragging it in a direction, the graphite in the direction you want. So let's try that again, same kind of shape, just bigger. Um, this cone shape, the horn, I'm gonna just draw darker around the edges. I'm gonna lighten up as I go towards the middle. And then I can take my finger I just blend it a little bit. Right here in the eye socket, I'm going to make one edge a lot darker. And this here, darker. And we know that this part is kind of like an indention, so it's like the valley, the valley of a mountain. That valley between the mountains that's always in a little darker in shadow so I'm gonna shade in here using the side of my pencil and I'm gonna lighten up as I go out then I can drag it with my finger mm -hmm. 